Okay, I'm gonna keep this short because I want to get in the stream. Uh, my dad is up at the cabin turkey hunting, so I decided to come up here, visit him, hang out with him and Harley up at the cabin. But um, I'm on a mission. I'm going to try to catch my first trout with the fly rod today. I actually completely left all of my spinning rods at the cabin. Um, didn't even bring them to the stream, so if I'm gonna catch a fish today, it's gonna have to be on a fly rod. If you guys have been watching this little last couple of videos I've done trying to get into this trout fishing or fly fishing thing, it's been a little bit of a experience. So I have caught my first fish on a fly rod, two crappies at a farm pond. Um, I got the same woolly bugger on, actually a different color, but a woolly bugger on. And I'm gonna try to catch a brook trout here at my favorite stream. So we'll see what happens. It is raining on and off, so I'm not gonna bring my big camera. I'm gonna throw it in the backpack. I'm not gonna set it up on the tripod or anything. I'm just gonna run the GoPro on my chest. So um, yeah, we'll see you in the stream. All right, so as I'm, I got the fly rod with me and as I'm walking down, to the stream i've seen right out here kind of in front of that tree that comes down i've seen two fish come up and eat something off of the surface i don't know what that would be i don't see any like flies floating around or anything so i don't know if that means i should have a dry fly on or what but i'm just gonna stick to the woolly bugger and uh see what happens Oh, I can see where that looks nice. Holy smokers. I'd eat that if I was a brook trout. You guys, this is, where's my nut? This is my first fish on a fly rod, first trout. Come here, and it is a gorgeous, ooh, beauty of a trout. I can't believe I missed a cast. I completely forgot to turn my GoPro back on, but I just caught a brick trout on a fly rod, dude. Oh my gosh, I cannot be, I cannot be more stoked. I'm gonna get this guy. Get this guy unhooked and get him back so my boy that's a beauty of a fish he's skinny probably nine ten inches but check that out woolly bugger right in the corner of the mouth man i can't i can't believe i missed that on the actual like cast and catch on film he i actually watched him wallop it right like right there oh so i turned my gopro off to to kind of move up a bit Alrighty. Oh. Back in the game. Watch out for that tree. Oh. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a little guy. I don't need the net. Look at this little pretty dude. On the fly, man. I caught freaking trout on a fly rod, are you kidding me? Boom. There he goes. I cannot tell you guys how stoked I am right now.
I want to get right up beside that rock. That's, I saw the biggest brook trout I've ever seen. The last time I was fishing here, come out from underneath that rock. Dude, I, this fish keeps freaking doing something right there. No, damn it. I'm about to blow this hole up, man. There we go. There, look at, guys, I don't know if, look, I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up. Look right here, just above that little rock. The fish just keep like, coming up and hammering things on the surface. Do I need to switch to a dry fly right now? Dude, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna switch to a dry fly. I just saw a couple nice trout jump and hit something. I don't know what the hell they're hitting. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep this on for a minute. Oh my gosh. What are they even, I don't, I can't even tell what they're hitting at. That's a nice trout that keeps freaking, okay. That's it. I'm switching to a dry fly. All right, I know very, very little about this stuff. I don't see even much floating, but this is what it looks the most like to me. So I'm gonna throw this dry fly, and he just hit again on the surface. There's a really nice brook trout. That keeps eating fish or eating flies off the surface up there. You guys, if this works, does this make me like an official trout fisherman or fly fisherman? Match the hatch and all that stuff. All right, five hours later, I ended up switching to this guy. Uh, I had to tie in some new tippet and stuff, so. That fish that was just there is probably gone by now, but there was a couple fish just going nuts right above that little run. I don't know if they're what they're eating. I don't see any flies floating, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, yep, they're still surfacing up there, dude. Oh my... Gosh, dude. Holy sh... Oh. What is this? What is this? What is this fish? This is the biggest brick curl I've ever seen. Come here. Come here. Oh! On the dry fly, dude! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta get. Oh. That's a personal best brook trout for me, without a doubt. On the dry fly. Oh. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. What? A day this fish oh, I don't have a tape measure with me man I bet you he's 15 oh my gosh that big old 
we split yeah we got rid of the fly i gotta find look at the size of that fish i bet you i don't know man i bet you he's 14 at least i'm gonna try to get a I got a rough idea of where he's at. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water, man. That is insane. On the dry fly, baby. <laughs> I'm officially a fly fisherman. Harley, get down. She just scratched your whole truck. Oh, well. Oh, man. You are? Dude, I, I wanna, here, let me, I gotta get out. You caught one? I caught three, including my personal best. Shut up! Yeah, on a fly rod. So that's awesome. So the first fish I tied on that woolly bugger, which is like that. It can be anything, so you you know cast it out and strip it back. I caught a real nice brookie, like a 10, 11 incher on it. Then I caught another dinky five incher. So I'm sitting there fishing with the same thing. All of a sudden, I see all these trout sipping flies off of the top, like catching bugs off the yeah. top of the surface. So I'm like. All right, and I looked at kind of what flies they were, so I got a fly out of my fly box that looked as close to those as I could. On my third or fourth cast, this fly is slowly floating back at me, and I just see, whoosh. so I set the hook, and all of a sudden, it's I'm like, what am I hooked into right now? Biggest brook trout I've ever caught. Really? Yeah, and not, I mean, it's not like a 16, it's probably a 14 incher, Holy somewhere God. in there, but. Got a picture of it? Yeah. Um, cool. Probably, like, I would rate this like excitement level or coolness like as if I would have shot Dagger coolness. or something. <laughs> Is that a word? I don't know, but dude. That's awesome. I'm so pumped. Well, let's see the picture of it. Yeah, 14. This is it. This is me releasing it back in. Oh. After oh, I caught it. Nice brookie. Holy cow. Nice one. And he fought, I mean, part of it's because it's on a fly rod, but he fought like. Oh, it was the coolest thing. Wow. So, I put them up on my rod to see like about how far, because I didn't have a tape measure, oh. so I've, I'll measure it. I'm guessing somewhere in between 13 and 14. Pretty cool for yeah. that trick. That's yeah. Awesome. So. Turn that off. <laughs> oh, well, I should definitely not be filming and driving right now. I'm actually just driving past a tree that I ran into with my truck at my bachelor party. There's the remnants of that endeavor. Anyway, that was pretty cool. On my way driving back into the cabin, Dad was taking Harley out for a walk, so I wanted to tell him about what happened. I'm pretty stoked. I'm actually, we don't get very good service back here at the cabin. So I'm gonna drive into town and call my brother Chris uh, because he's getting into fly fishing with me as well. Then I gotta do a couple more things to, um, you know, kind of celebrate and capture this memory, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so I just got back from the cabin and I knew I had to do a closing for this video. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am catching my first trout on a fly rod, my first trout on a dry fly, and my personal best brookie on the dry fly. Just so cool to me. Um, I gotta give a couple shout outs real quick to some of the people that have been helping me. First is uh, Tight Lines Fly Co. out of um, De Pere, Wisconsin. They were the ones, if you watch my kind of video series, getting into fly fishing. I went to them, they helped me with a lot of things. He set me up with this uh, fly box and my flies to start with so the woolly bugger and the dry fly that I used to catch those fish was from there and he kind of recommended those to me. Um, he spooled my reel up for me and kind of just gave me the lowdown on the basics of fly fishing and where I should start. And then another guy I want to shout out real quick is Mike from Fly All Season. Um, he has a YouTube channel. If you haven't checked him out, you have to. He's so much fun to watch. He's got so much energy and he's a fantastic fly fisherman. Um, he catches a lot of fish. Super fun to watch. I've just been binge watching his stuff over the last couple weeks, but I started messaging him on Instagram and the DMs and um, was kind of picking his brain about some things. He's been very helpful answering all my stupid questions, um, giving me some ideas and tips and tricks. So thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. And I got this idea from him as well on something that I really wanted to do. I'm a super sentimental guy, and something I saw Mike do uh, when he busted in a new fly rod, is after he caught his first fish, he cut the plastic off of the cork on his rod. So that's something I want to do on this new rod that I've, uh, I think, officially broken. I caught my first fish on it, which was a crappie. 
um, then I cut my first trout on it as well. So I think it's time to cut the cork on my fly rod. Alright, so the plastic is off, the cork is out, and uh, I may not be a good one, but I'm officially a fly fisherman. And then the other idea that I got from Mike where I saw in one of his videos is he caught a real special brown trout and he immediately cut the fly off so that he could save it. And again, I'm super sentimental, so I really like this idea that he had. So in this fly box here, um, I'm going to keep fishing with the woolly bugger I used, even though that is really special to me. It's what I caught, you know, my first fish ever on and my first trout. But this dry fly here, this um, royal wolf fly is the first dry fly that I've ever used trout fishing and you know growing up when I watched trout fishing the thing that I always liked the idea of is dry fly fishing I know it's pretty special to a lot of people um, so this was not only the first fish that I ever caught a dry fly on but it was also my personal best brook trout to date and um, it's a really cool fly so I'm going to save this I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet I, I was thinking about maybe framing it in like a matted frame or putting it on some sort of board where I can kind of collect memorable flies throughout the years. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I am going to save it. This fly is going to go into retirement so that I can remember this experience um, for the rest of my life. So to you fly fishermen, if any of you guys do something like this and you have any ideas, put it in the comments below. I'd like to know what you guys do with your memorable flies. Um, and I might have to steal your idea from you, seeing as how I already stole part of the idea from Mike. So. I'm just so excited on this whole fly fishing thing. I'm so, still super new to it. I'm still not very good at casting. I'm just figuring this whole thing out. But the fact that I was able to actually catch my first trout on a streamer and then kind of recognize the situation of those fish that were surfacing and feeding on top on those flies. And I actually ended up switching flies. I didn't show it in the video, but I watched one of the flies kind of flow past me and I noticed they had little white wings. So that's why I chose that Royal Wolf fly. It was the closest thing I had in my box to look like that. Um, and then I was able like, to you know, catch that awesome, awesome brook trout. Uh, some people might think it's kind of you know, lame that that's my personal best, which I actually did end up measuring it um, from the markings I put on my pole. It was only 13 and a half inches. I would have thought it was closer to 14 or 15. Um, so it was only 13 and a half inches, but still just an awesome brook trout. He had shoulders on him. He just looked like an old, awesome fish, and he's super special to me. So super cool i'm so excited to keep fly fishing and to learn more um, i really appreciate you guys watching and you fly fishermen that are watching if you have any tips or tricks or just things that you want me to know um comment it below I'm, I'm excited to hear from people that know more than me and to learn from people that know more from me because i'm just super new to this whole thing so thanks again for watching i'm going to put the links to um, tightline fly company that helped me out to Mike's Fly All Season YouTube page. You guys gotta check him out. He's got awesome videos, as well as links to kind of some of the gear I'm using and the stuff I'm doing. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.